Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube logo in Paint.net completely free, like this one or this one that I've both made. So the first thing you are going to do is um, do a new canvas at 640 by 640 pixels. Make a new layer and uh, uncheck the background. Then you've just got this. Uh, go on to Tool and click Text and do a font size of roughly 300 and select the font that you like to use. I like Raider Crusader and I got it off of their font.com. Just press download and install it. So um, if I'm making a logo for say, I don't know, Galaxy Clan, just made that up. Uh, I do a G in black. Then center it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try and get it as close to the center as possible. Then you will duplicate the layer and you and click on the one that's underneath. Click on uh, the paint bucket. Change the color to this dark gray here next to the black and just click on the G. Then click on layers, rotate slash zoom and just zoom out a bit. Just like so. Just enough so that it's just like that really. That's how you want it. Once you finish that make a new layer. Get the paintbrush. Set it to roughly 5, it's quite good. Maybe a bit more than that, I'm going to do 11 actually. And in the same grey, uh, just fill, fill it in just a bit. Fill in these spots here that haven't been filled in by the uh, G. Just roughly. Uh, this is just so you know that that bit needs filling in. It's not really necessary. Uh, what you're going to do next is do a new layer. Yes, another one. Then you're going to go ahead and get your line slash curve tool, select the colour that's black, and draw a line from this corner to that corner so it joins up. Do this with all of them. Just like so, just joining the corners to the corners. And even on this corner here, it doesn't really look like one, but you should still uh, just draw a line from here to here, just like that. Right, once you finish that, uh, deselect the top layer, and then just join up these lines like that, so it makes the rough outline. Still do it on the same layer as the previous lines. And you're going to go ahead and just fill in these gaps. And just join all these lines up. Right, once you finish that, you can actually, yep, you can actually delete layer 2. So that's gone. And also this layer here that's got the grey splotches. Uh, splotches? What was that? A new word. Uh, blotches. Not that layer. This layer here. I'm going to delete that. So they will just left with this and that layer. Then what you want to do click on the layer 5 with, which has, has all the lines and go on your paint bucket select the grey again and then you're going to fill in these 
uh, and imagine that you've got like a light source coming from over here so or wherever you want your light to come fr from so that so say if I have my light source from over here then um, this would be fairly well lit this bit here um, which I need to zoom in to get to I'm going to make a little darker by clicking on more and then just turning the darkness down brightness down sorry got to be very careful on this bit then on this bit I think I'm going to make it a bit brighter so this bit will probably be the brightest one because it's exposed to all this light and this bit will be a bit dark in that one this bit will be probably a tad darker this one down here will be the darkest of all of them this one here will be just a little bit brighter it's too much Oops. I might use these arrows there we go that's quite good this one um, it's probably about right anyway so then you're left with something like this a letter like this um, probably a couple of errors there if you get an error like that where you didn't get the line quite straight enough um, just use the paintbrush in a black and that should sort it but remember to do it on the top player the uh, main G if you're filling this in right then I finished all this what you're going to do next is create a new layer which you know you're not you're going to go to layers import from file and then find the texture that you'd like to have on your uh, letter kind of like drag it over the G then hold shift because you don't want it too distorted and just drag it over the once you finish that click on layer 2 which is your main G click on the magic wand tool and select this and it should come up with the G and an outline and it would have these um, weird funky lines on it then once you selected it click on galaxy background and press delete then you'll get something like that um, and that's kind of like the main bit of the G then you want to go ahead and click on the layer 2 again press effects object outline um, I downloaded this it was a plugin I'll leave the link to the plugin in the description you've got to install it on your laptop uh, computer I mean or you can actually just go around by hand with the lines um, if you don't want to install the plugin and then that's pretty much it then you just save it just remember to make it less than I think it's a megabyte for YouTube <laughs>